Okay, so let's summarize everything we've learned in this section. So SQS is a queuing service in AWS, and we can have multiple producers into an SQS queue. The messages are going to be kept up to 14 days in the queue, then deleted. Consumers can read these messages and they will share the reads, so they will split the reads. And then once a message is read and processed, then it's going to be deleted. So when a consumer is done, the message is gone. It's used to decouple applications within AWS. So anytime you see queuing and decoupling, think SQS. SNS is a notification service in AWS. And so we have producers and subscribers. So it could be email, Lambda, SQS queues, HTTP, mobile. And if you have multiple subscribers onto one SNS topic, then SNS will send a message to all of them. SNS doesn't retain any message, so it's not a durable store of messages. And it's going to be used again for pub sub, for subscribers, for topics and notifications within AWS. Finally, we've seen Kinesis, which is a real-time data streaming service, which is going to have some data persistence. And also you can run analytics on top of Kinesis in real time. And finally, we have Amazon MQ, which is a managed message broker for Active MQ and RabbitMQ in the cloud. So if you want to migrate from on-premises to the cloud and use the MQTT, AMQP, or other kind of protocols, this is a service for you. So that's it for this section. I hope you liked it, and I will see you in the next section.